If you guys want the fastest way to improve your aim, get some control freaks for cheap. Use code GOBLIN for 10% off and improve your aim today. Link in the description. Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Call of Duty World War II video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the supply drop system, DLC, and all that sort of stuff in Call of Duty World War II, and gonna give you guys some tips and definitely gonna let you guys know on something that I've been doing for a while and that everyone can really capitalize off of and really get the most enjoyment out of this game, and definitely a lot of different tips when you don't really think about tips when it comes to the supply drop system but i'm basically going to be talking about the future of dlc and what's to come and other stuff so if you guys could drop a like on this thing 2000 likes would be absolutely awesome i'm uploading this very late on a sunday evening which is you know at this point a late night upload is kind of typical when i'm saying it literally 50 percent of my videos but uh you know you guys can watch when you guys watch whether you watch it in the morning after my videos come out whether you guys are still up late night or maybe you guys live in a different part of the world than me so when i'm uploading late night it can be early morning for you guys Guys, you guys let me know and uh, let's get right into this so Call of Duty World War 2 if you don't know by now a lot of stuff has been found in the files of this game on the PC version basically how it works is this game is very popular on Xbox one PlayStation 4 as well as PC this is actually I think the, the, the most popular Call of Duty on PC uh, it's at, at release or something like that like it was the most sales after a release right away um, obviously you know games that have been out for multiples of years are gonna have way more sales in total but this was one of the most successful releases on PC and with that there does come a price for the developers because stuff gets leaked and those PC files are able to people are able to what they call data mine basically get stuff that are in the files but not yet released public and and, you know leak that sort of stuff so if you guys don't know about all of the leaks here because there's been a multitude of them throughout the whole month of November and even some before the game came out I'll talk a little bit about each of these leaks and the main message of the supply drop secret that I want to talk about so basically what's been leaked is that there's been three different supply drops leaked that are coming into this game extra ones that we already have obviously we have the common supply drop and the rare supply drop but it's also been leaked that there's going to be a blue supply drop which is called a legendary supply drop an orange one which is called an epic supply drop and even a black one that says is called a weapon supply drop and that is definitely the most potent one that basically ensures us that dlc weapons are going to be in supply drops i mean come on we all knew that right so but what that means is that maybe this will be like a weapon bribe be similar to to how it was in Call of Duty or uh, Black Ops 3. Now, hopefully it doesn't just mean that, that you get a weapon variant. Hopefully it gives you one of those actual DLC weapons, but that definitely means that the supply drop system is going to get amped up whenever these are released. And of course the release time will definitely be within the next couple of weeks to couple of months because the things are already in the file. So it's something that they've probably been planning since before the release. They definitely been planning this since before the release. Other stuff is that 16 new weapons were leaked and I made full videos on all this stuff back when it happens you guys can check them out on my channel i'm not going to go too in depth on them in this video i just want to catch everyone up in case you guys might have you know seen two of the three videos or maybe you missed one um 16 new weapons were leaked um a bunch of different weapons ranging from snipers to pistols three of those weapons are actually melee weapons like the ice pick they had they had uh the the trench knife i think so, it's called something like that a lot of different stuff as well as smgs basically every sort of different guns were leaked into the game which is crazy because to have 16 weapons leaked means that this year we could end up with literally 25 30 who knows how many dlc weapons in total and most of those weapons were not ones that were brought back from previous cards most of those were original sort of ones that fit with the world war ii era as well as nine different weapon camos that were leaked and those camos looked absolutely amazing now the thing with camos is right now camos in this game are kind of lacking i know some people like that because they think it fits with the world war ii setting me personally i think that i, I would like some good camos and these camos are pretty much most definitely going to be in supply drops or maybe some sort of community contract in your mailbox but definitely some of them are going to be in that supply drop system because as of now the supply drop system is is kind of empty so the number one secret that i want to talk to you guys about and what is so important right now in this game is that right now the supply drop system is kind of lacking in in a way and basically what i mean by that is the coolest thing and pretty much the only good stuff that you can get from supply drops i mean some people might care about the um they might care about the uh, outfits personally i'm not i'm not a big fan of i don't think any of the outfits are even that cool and the outfits are you know decent but the main thing that everyone's going for right now is the variants whether it's an epic variant or a heroic variant 
variant and those variants are cosmetic only so in my opinion what everyone should be doing is once you guys have opened a fair amount of supply drops which you definitely have if you're playing the game you, you, even if you didn't purchase any when you know they were available with cod points if you guys have been playing the game since it's come out you definitely do have quite a bit of epic and heroic variants now once you have the good variants for the, the guns that you use for example once you have one gun say you use mostly smgs once you have one variant for like your top three four weapons the supply drop system there's nothing really insane that you're going to get out of it now of course everyone wants everything that's just how society works like me i don't have a bar variant and you know i'm, I'm super mad about that i wish i had the bar variant all that sort of stuff but i don't need that it's really not going to change my gameplay and so my advice to everyone is what I've been doing for now about a week or so is to save your supply drops. And what I mean by that is basically how it's worked in every single previous Call of Duty game is until you open the supply drop, those supply drops can get updated. So supply drops that you were earning now, if you wait to open them in, in, until the future, and of course this is how it's worked in every other Call of Duty game. They could change it for this one, but I doubt it. This is how it's always worked. Basically, as long as you hold those supply drops, you can wait until they update stuff and add stuff into the supply drop market and then you can open those supply drops and have a chance at those new things so now what i've been doing because the supply drop system at this moment isn't too exciting but i know the future is jam-packed and usually supply drop stuff starts coming in around you know the middle of december or so so definitely it could even come out on this tuesday if not this tuesday coming very soon um probably you know it, the latest it could come out is like dlc one but i definitely think it's going to be in december because december is one of the biggest months for Call of Duty and uh, you know a lot of people pick up the game around Christmas time before Christmas all that sort of stuff holiday season they have a lot of sales on the game and I definitely think that what's going to happen is that they're going to be adding a bunch of different stuff to the supply drops and it's going to be absolutely crazy now the thing with this is and saving your supply drops is that you can earn supply drops at a very fast rate in this game uh, honestly I've only been doing this for a while and I haven't even been playing as much recently um, because you know it's it's a lot harder to play I'm waiting for those double XP weekends to really spam but you know I've been playing a decent amount still and I already have I think around 50 or 60 supply drops saved up now not all of those I think around uh, 20 I think I have 27 of them are rares or some, maybe a bit more than that. You know, more than half of them are rares and then some of them are commons as well. But all of those supply drops that I'm saved up are ones that I'm not going to have to pay for in the future. And that's a good value of, so that's worth like almost a hundred bucks, 50 something supply drops, right? So it definitely is easy to earn supply drops right now. And how I'm earning them is by just every single day, it updates at 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, you don't have to log on right at 2 a.m., but just any time during that day. And I do a uh, major Howard. You can take three of his, you, well, his weekly ones, you can take all of them and do them all. I definitely do that every week. But he has daily contracts, which a lot of them give supply drops. Look at the ones that give supply drops, take those, they're so easy some of them are like get 10 kills with an smg with a suppressor it's like ridiculously easy stuff as well as what else i've been doing is every single day i'm going to the quartermaster lady and taking all of her contracts as well i, I usually take the same ones every day i take the uh, uh 100 kills the 130 kills and those are in 40 minutes so you have to be kind of a, you know a pretty good player to do that but even if you if you don't think you can do those ones there's other ones you can buy that are a bit more expensive that are only like get 25 kills or get five headshots or stuff like that and some of those do grant rare supply drops and I've just been stacking through that and of course the more you play as well you randomly get supply drops given to you uh, whether you're just sitting in the in the headquarters hanging out or whether it's after the match when it rolls that random roulette thing gives supply drops and I'm just going to be saving these so when the first DLC weapons come out you don't want to be if, if the DLC weapons are not craftable which they might be craftable like Modern Warfare Remastered but even then you're going to need supply drops to get the armory credits to craft them so it's sort of double-edged sword but you definitely don't want to miss out when good dlc weapons come like the, the stens been leaked as an smg a lot of different cool weapons and the camels as well so definitely i think that saving these supply drops is the way to go right now because these variants aren't going to do as much nearly a percentage of what all they do is basically some of them change the sites which is very very good but a, a, a lot of them basically grant you 10 percent, or they all grant you 10 percent extra xp which is sort of whatever once you already have a couple variants for your favorite weapons 
minutes start saving for the future of this dlc also you know what i think is that there's a potential that score streak variants could be coming because the reason why i think this and this is just a rumor as of right now there's no, no leaks for this part of the video basically um you know iw had score streak variants come later in the year and the originator of score streak variants was sledgehammer games back in aw or back in aw uh, and then of course I iw did that as dlc sort of copied them and i think that sledgehammer games they did innovate a lot with the supply drop system as well as with the, that's like this is the first time we saw all of this back in aw so i think there's definitely a high possibility of stuff like this coming back and i just think that saving the drops is the right thing to do because of all these different leaks let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below if you guys can drop a like on this thing i'd really appreciate 2000 likes that would be awesome sub for a cookie if you guys are new sub for a cookie and don't looky and that's about it guys i'm out peace